Okay, so we're gonna start with an oil. Use your wild orange or citrus bliss or whatever you may have at home. As we know, just the essential oils are really good for lifting our mood and building immunity. Almost all essential oils are antiviral, antibacterial, so it's good during this time to keep us strong. Smile into the hands and then breathe out. If you're not using oil, just have your hands on your heart and your belly and breathe the breath into the hands, expanding the hands forward as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, feel the belly and the chest drop. If you're smelling an oil, you're breathing in. Opening the hands to breathe out. I'm gonna stay here for a few more breaths, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, long deep breaths. So the nice thing also about an essential oil is it brings you right into the present moment, helps the mind to drop into a more quiet place so you can really listen to your body and be here present in this moment. Two more breaths. Hmm. Dropping the hands into mountain pose. Roll your shoulders back. Lift up through the crown of the head. So as if a string is pulling the crown of the head up into the ceiling. Heart's lifting, your belly button is pulling in towards your spine. Your hips are rolling back. Your uh, thigh muscles are externally rotating then the, the muscles are squeezing the bone. There's a slight bend in the knees and press strongly through the heels and all the toes of the feet. But don't grip the toes, just press the toes. Eyes are closed. Belly breathing, breathing deeply into your belly, belly softens with your breath. So belly breathing helps to quiet the nervous system. So any point in your day when you're feeling anxious with the kids or anxious with the, the activity and what our current reality, take yourself into breathing into the belly. So notice as you breathe in, the belly expands forward. And as you breathe out, the belly tucks in. So let's take our hands over our belly, right hand first, left hand on top. And as you breathe in, the hands move forward because you're expanding the button forward. As you breathe out, the button pulls in, the hands pull in. Breathe in, expand the belly like a balloon, pushing the hands forward. Breathing out, pull the belly actively in to the body as you push the breath out. Let's do this three more times, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last time, breathing in. Breathing out. Slide your hands to your hips. Walk your feet a little bit wider than your hips to expand your stance, bend your knees slightly, and let's do circles with the hips, opening up the back, the lower back, the hips and the legs, warming them up, nice and gentle. So find the rhythm of your breath, breathing in as you lean forward, breathing out as you move back. Three more times in this direction. Good. 
Good. Now, Tajani, breathing in, forward. Breathing out, back. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Good, now let's go deeper with the, the upper body, same direction, but take your back down flat 90 degrees, over to the side, and up, and side, and forward. And then the legs stay straight here. Two more times in this direction. Breathing in as you move forward, breathing out as you come up. So Sajani, nice and smoothly, going to the other side. Flat back as you move forward. Find that side bend, a slight back bend this time as you go back. And then side. Forward three more times. Mm. Mm. Two. Mm. One last time. So come forward at that ninety degrees. Take your hands here. So climb just below the knees or around the knees. And then shake your hips from side to side. So the legs stay straight, the hips wag one side to the other. And one side and to the other. One more time on each side. And then back to center, cat cows with your hands on your shokayam. So breathing out, arching up, pull your chin towards your heart. Feel a nice gentle stretch to the lower back. Breathing in, drop the belly, roll the shoulders, look up. Breathing out, arching up. Breathing in, looking forward. Breathing out, arching up. Breathing in. Forward, last time, breathing out, arching up. Breathing in, sliding up, coming all the way up. Roll the shoulders back, breathing in, looking up. Reach up through the hands, reach through the fingertips. Breathing out, hands come down, look down at the toes. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, coming down with your hands, look at your toes. Two more times, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last time, breathing in, stay up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up. Look forward, take your arms back past your ears. Lift your toes up. So you're pressing through the ball mounts of the big toe and the little toe and you feel both sides of your heels. Now lean to the left, lay and lean. Drop your toes so you can press through the feet equally. Press through the hands like they're reaching away from the crown of your head. Breathing in, back to center. Breathing out, Sajani. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. I have a cough, it's not Corona. <laughs> Back to center. Drop the hands. I have a cold. 
All right, so open your feet wider than your hips, just even a little bit wider and bend one knee and then the other. Take your hands to your hips so you feel your hips move. Bend one knee and then the other. Again, this is warming up the hips, so go a little bit faster. Long, deep breath. Long, out breath. So there's a slight twisting, if you notice, in your hips when you're focused on this bending one knee and then the other. There's a bit of a drop and a twist. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're going to bend to the right. Reach your left arm over. Use your right hand to push the hip in and over to the left as you stretch that left arm over to the right. Back to center. Take the hand to the hip. Bend the left knee. Push the left hip over to the right. Reach the right arm over to the left. So this contra. Hips are going to the right. Arm is reaching to the left. Mm. One more time on each side, hand to the hip, bend the right, push the hips to the left, right arm reaching, left arm reaching, back to center, bend the left knee, hips to the right, right arm over. Mm. Good. Back to center. Drop your hands, mountain pose, walk your feet forward a little bit. And let's move to the ground. So breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, folding forward. Oh yeah, fingertips to the floor. If they don't touch, grab your shokai. Breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, fingertips to the floor. Bend your knees if they don't touch. Let's warm up the backs of the legs. So walk your feet a little bit wider than the hips. Bend your right knee and then your left. And just go back and forth with your breath. Breathing in to center. Breathing out, bend. Breathing in to center. Breathing out, sancha knee, bending the other knee. So tzad de tzad, le merkaz, tzad shani. Le merkaz, tzad shani. One more time on each side. Good, then straighten both legs. Bend them if the fingertips don't touch. Stay here, grab your elbows so that the upper body feels a little more heavy as it pulls the spine and the upper body down towards the floor. Knees can be bent. Maybe you feel your rib cage and your belly touch the top of your thigh. And rock from side to side with your upper body. Mm. Back to center and try straightening the legs. And now bend and straighten. One more time, bend the knees slightly and straighten the legs. All right, take the fingertips to the floor. Let's drop into our table. So, mm. Taking the knees to the floor. Oh. Knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Wag your tail from side to side. Feeling that side movement of the spine. The many directions that the spine moves. So this is side to side, like your spine is moving. Side to side. <laughs> and then let's go a little bit faster. So shaking the, the hips from side to side, shaking the spine from side to side. Feel your head shake. And then just to get the screen so I can see everybody a little bit better. Mm. 
Right. Close your eyes. Let's take two more breaths. Shake it out. So this is great for moving the circulation, sense especially the lymphatic system. That has all your white blood cells and your nice good blood immunity. So move it out throughout the whole body. And then stop. Notice how you feel for a moment. All that circulation is moving through the body sometimes feels a little buzzy. Ah, tuck your belly and be active here. Arch up like a cat, breathing out. Push all the breath out as you pull your belly up. Breathing in, drop the belly. Roll the shoulders back, look up. Breathing out, arching up. Breathing in, dropping the belly, roll the shoulders. Breathing out, arching up. Breathing in, drop the belly, roll the shoulders, look up. Couple more times, close your eyes, breathing out. Breathing in. Now your spine is like a wave and feel it move as you arch up and feel it move as it drops down. There's cerebral spinal fluid between each vertebrae. So when you move like this, you're bringing more fluid in between each part of the spine, making it more juicy and more healthy. Yoga is one of those anti-aging movements that, that really helps you to grow older and mature with more grace you continue to move more easily. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you don't shrink. You just keep staying long and strong and open. Go back to center. Let's do circles with our hips. So try to just move the hips, not much of the rest of the body, just little circles with the hips. So it's really pelvic tilts, tilting the pelvic and untilting as you go around in circles. So women especially get locked up in this area. Men too, not just women. Get lit, locked up in the pelvis and the hips. This is our root and second chakra. So it's the center of our creativity and our passion, our passion in our relationships, but also our passion for life. Opening up the center, Sajja in the other direction. Hmm. Good, and back to center. Find your child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. Press the hips back. Reach the hands forward. Fingertips are spread, so you activate all the muscles in the arms. Drop your forehead between the shoulders and let your forehead rest on the floor. So this is an active child's pose, not a lazy one. Press the hips back by pressing through the arms and the heels of the hands. The elbows are off the floor. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Stay here for two more breaths. So when we start our sun salutations, when you rest in downward dog, you can also rest in child's pose. So this is child's pose. One more breath. Breathing in, arching up through your table. Breathing out, drop your hips forward, come into your upward facing dog or cobra, roll your shoulders away from the ears. Bend your elbows a little bit so that your pubic bone touches the floor. Good, now straighten the arms. Press into the toenails and the knees come off the floor. Let's do that again, drop the knees, drop the pubic bone, bend the elbows towards the rib cage, roll the shoulders back. This is actually Cobra. 
Upward facing dog, straighten the arms, push into the toes, knees come up. This is full upward facing dog. Then drop the knees down, turn the toes under, come up through your plank. First one of the day. Wrists and elbows and shoulders are in alignment. You're on your tiptoes, pressing the shoulders forward over the fingertips. Stay here for one more breath. Drop the knees down. We're gonna try puppy pose. So you bend your elbows towards your rib cage and your heart and chin drop all the way to the floor. Your tailbone stays up. There's a curve in your spine and all the way through your neck. Wag your puppy tail from side to side. Mm. Then pressing through the hands, come back up. It's like a half push up. Uh, half plant, half chaturanga. So walk your knees back a little bit. Shoulders roll, um, push forward, bend your elbows back, stop halfway, and up, push up. We're going to do five of those. Push up. Yeah, more. Walk your knees in. <coughs> okay, let's do that again. Bend the elbows back, heart drops, and up. Bend your elbows back, heart drops right when the elbows touch the rib cage. Back up, three, down, two, last one, one. Woo, push back into child's pose. <coughs> Toes together, knees apart, reach forward. Forehead to the floor. If you wanna take it a little bit deeper, try to get your chin to the floor. Breathe. <clears throat> Two more breaths. One more breath. Next breath in, rolling up to your table. Turn your toes under, reach your knees up, find your plank. You're in, on your toes. You're tucking your belly in, tucking your heart up into your shoulders so that you're rounding a bit in the upper back. And then push back into your downward facing dog. Walk your toes in a little bit to make the dog a little bit shorter. Be active here, find your correct alignment. Shoulders roll away from the ears. You face, face behind the heart. Bend one knee and then the other, stretching out the back of the leg, opening up your hips, <coughs> tucking your belly in. Sadvetan. <coughs> Back to center, this is my favorite way of finding your alignment. So bend both knees where your belly almost touches the tops of your thighs. Look at your toes for a long neck. Keep your spine where it is as you straighten the legs, heels down, knees back. And do that again, bend both knees. I can feel my belly button, the tops of my ribs. But bottom ribs touching the thighs and then straighten. Look up between your hands, step your right foot all the way through and then your left. Toes are softly touching the big toes, heels are apart, fold forward. Mm, try to keep your legs straight. And then coming up, bend the knees a little bit, rib cage touches. Reach your arms forward and come all the way up. Breathing out, hands to your heart. So Surya Namaskar. A, so you're at towards the top of your mat. 
Big toes touching. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Arms are alongside the body. Eyes are closed. Roll the shoulder back. Heart lift. Let's begin. Let's start with reaching the arms out to the side. Breathing in. Looking up. Breathing out. Hands come to your heart. Fold forward. Knees can be softly bent. Fingertips to the floor. Breathing in. Halfway lift. Hands can come to your shokan. Breathing out. Bend the knees. Step the right foot back. And then the left foot back. Plank pose. Stay here for a breath. Breathing in. Breathing out, let's first stop with start with dropping the knees. Shoulders forward, bend the elbows back, stop halfway. Breathing in, upward facing dog, straighten the arms, drop the hips, roll the shoulders. Breathing out, turn the toes under, knees come up through your plank and back into your downward facing dog. Five breaths, find your alignment. Still warming up so you can bend your knees. Move your hips and your belly. Three more breaths. Two more. Good, next breath in, legs are straight. Look up at your fingertips now, bend the knees, step the left foot all the way through. And then your right, fold forward, breathing out, breathing in, floating up, arms to the side, breathing out, hands to your heart, breathing in, arms to the side, breathing out, out hands to your heart, fold forward, knees can bend, fingertips to the floor, breathing in, halfway lift, breathing out, fold forward, left foot back. And then your right foot back, plank pose. You're on your tiptoes, tuck your belly in, heart lift, breathing in. Breathing out, drop your knees, shoulders forward, bend your elbows back, stop halfway. Breathing in, upward facing dog. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Hmm, four more breaths, long, deep breaths. Keep the mind quiet during your down dog. Start to go into a quiet body where you're not moving. Letting just the breath move you. There's a quiet activeness here by, by pressing through the hands so that your arms stay strong and you feel them connected all the way to your shoulders and even to your lower back. Two more breaths. Last breath. Transitioning forward, bend your knees, look at your fingertips, step the right foot all the way through. And then your left, breathing out, folding forward, breathing in, arms to the side, reaching up all the way up, breathing out, hands to your heart. Udbam, <coughs> <coughs> breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, hands to your heart, fold forward, bend the knees, fingertips reach, breathing in, upward, or half, half lift. Breathing out, step your right foot back. And then your left foot back, plank pose, tuck your belly in, heart lifting up. Breathing out, drop your knees, elbows back, half chaturanga. Breathing in, upward facing dog. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Hmm. Four more breaths, staying quiet. Actively trying to push the heels towards the floor. Knees are straight. Hips are lifting up. Belly's tucking in. Three more breaths. Two 
to one. Bend your knees, look up at your hands, step the left foot all the way through quietly. Then your right, fold forward, breathing out. Breathing in, arms to the side, reaching out. Breathing out, hands to your head. <coughs> Good, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, hands to your heart, fold forward. Breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, step or hop back. Breathing in, plank pose. Breathing out, you can do a full chaturanga now or still drop to your knees. Breathing in, upward facing dog, knees can stay off the floor. Breathing out. Downward facing dog. If you want to be more active in your downward facing dog, you can step in your left, right leg reaches up, one legged down dog. Breathing out, lower the leg. Breathing in, left leg reaches up. Breathing out, lower. Two more breaths. Good, coming forward, bend your knees, look at your fingertips. You can step the right foot forward or up. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, reaching up. Take your arms out to the side. Come all the way up. Breathing out, hands to your heart. Breathing in. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, halfway lift. lift. Breathing out, step your left foot back or hop. Breathing out, lower knees or full chaturanga. Breathing in, upward facing dog. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Stay here for five breaths. Or breathing in, right leg lifts, one legged down dog. Breathing out, drop. Breathing in, left leg lifts. Breathing out, drop. Two more breaths, pull your belly in. Active arms. Mm. Next breath in, look at your hands, bend your knees, step the left foot forward or up. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, hands here. Tadasana, drop your arms. Arms are alongside the body, shoulders are rolling back, hearts lifting. Find your breath, long, deep breath. Hmm. All right, so your namaskar B. So breathing in, so first set up, your toes are touching, your heels are apart, hips are right underneath your shoulders. Breathing out, fold forward, sitting into your chair, rib cage touches, and now breathing in, reach the arms up. Sitting down in your chair, heart is lifting, arms are reaching. Breathing out, drop your rib cage to your thighs, fingertips to the floor, then straight. Breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, step your right foot back or hop back. Breathing in, stay here. Breathing out, lower, drop your knees or full chaturanga, elbows back. Breathing in, upward facing dog. Breathing out, downward facing. Breathing in, right foot steps forward. Left foot drops to the floor. 
coming up, warrior one. Let's stay here for a breath, breathing in. Breathing out, drop the hands. Step the foot back, find your plank. Dropping into chaturanga or drop your knees. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathing in, left foot steps forward. Right foot drops to the mat, coming up into your warrior one. Stay here for a breath, breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, dropping over, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Five breaths, stay still here, or child's pose. Four more breaths. Three. Two. <clears throat> One. Next breath in, bend your knees, look up, step the right foot forward or up. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, sitting in your chair, ribcage touches, arms reach up. Stay here for another breath. Breathing out, folding forward, ribcage touches, then straighten the legs. Breathing in, looking up, halfway lift. Breathing out, step your left foot back or hop back. Breathing in, stay here. Breathing out, full chaturanga or drop your knees, half chaturanga. Breathing in, upward facing. Breathing out, downward facing. Breathing in, right foot steps forward. Drop your left to the floor, reaching up, warrior one. Stay here for a breath, breathing in. Breathing out moves you down, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathing in, left foot steps forward, right foot drop. Warrior one, stay here for a full breath, breathing in. Breathing out, drop over, full chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Now you rest. Keep the breath long and deep. Three more breaths. Two. Good, coming forward, bend the knees, look at your fingertips, step the left foot forward or hop. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, drop into your chair, drop your tush, rib cage touches, and then your arms reach up, heart lift. One more time each side, breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, step your right foot back or hop back. Breathing in, stay here. Breathing out, full chaturanga or half. Drop the knees, breathing in, upward facing dog. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Breathing in, right foot steps forward, left foot drops, coming up, breathing in. <coughs> stay here, one more breath. Breathing out, all the way down. Plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathing in, left foot steps forward, right foot drops, coming up where you want. Breathing out, plank pose. 
Fold chaturanga or drop your knees, elbows back, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, or child's pose. Four more breaths. Long, deep breath. Two more breaths. Mm. Looking at your hands, bend your knees, step the right foot forward or hop. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, chair pose, sit down, heart lifts, arms lift. Last time, breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, step your left foot back or hop back. Breathing in, stay here. Breathing out, lower, drop your knees or full chaturanga, bend your elbows back. Breathing in, upward facing dog. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Breathing in, right foot steps forward, left foot drops, coming up. Stay here for a breath, one more breath. Breathing in, breathing out, dropping down. Plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathing in, left foot steps forward, right foot drops, coming up, warrior one. Stay here for a breath, breathing in, breathing out, dropping over. Plank, drop your knees or full chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Ah, five breaths or child's pose. Two more breaths. If you're in child's pose, come up to your downward facing dog. And let's move forward together, bend your knees. Look at your hands, step your left foot forward or hop. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, drop your tush, coming up with your upper body and arms, sitting low. Breathing out, hands come to your heart. Sit down a little bit lower, roll your shoulders back, heart lift. Breathing in, standing up. Drop your hands, Tadasana. Eyes are closed. Deepen your breath. Mm, long, deep breath. Hmm. Stay standing here for two more breaths. So do some standing poses, breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, hands come to your heart, stay standing. Right foot steps forward, or right knee comes up. Point the toes, find your balance. Look at a spot on your floor or in front of you that's not moving. Standing leg is straight and strong, push into the foot. Warrior three, reach that leg back, that lifted leg back, right leg. Fold at the hips, press into your hands. Gazes at the floor, tuck your belly in. Bend that standing knee so that your rib cage touches and then you step back. <coughs> Warrior one. Reach the arms up alongside the ears. Softly take the palms together, interlace the fingers, take the arms back. You can look forward 
Or if you want a slight back bend, look up into your fingertips. Reach the arms back. Bend the front knee right over the ankle. Front back leg is strong and straight. Two more breaths. Good, open up to your warrior two. Knee is right over the ankle. Strong, straight back leg, push into the back heel. Reach back through the back arm a little bit to center the pose and look over the front fingertips. Two more breaths. Reverse warrior, reach down that back leg, top arm reaches up over the ear. Mm. Look up into your fingertips. Try reaching the bottom hand down the leg a little bit deeper. Breathe. Mm. Back around to center. Warrior two. Side angle, the elbow goes to the knee. Reach the arm up. Straight up first and then alongside the ear, drop your hips. Now that top arm's gonna half bind, reaching around the back and fingertips come to the inside of this thigh. Don't take so much weight into this elbow that's on your knee. It could actually come up and not be on the knee. Stay here, then take it to the knee again. Full bind, if you have it in your practice, is this bottom hand reaches in front of the thigh and underneath to grab the arm behind you. Opening up, looking up towards the ceiling, breathe. Release the full bind, take the elbow back to the knee, keep the arm behind the back. Coming back up, warrior one, or warrior two. Reach the arms up. Triangle pose, straighten the front leg. Your hips shift back to the left, to the right, and you reach forward. Drop the bottom hand down inside the foot. Reach the top arm up. Both legs are straight. Three more breaths. One more breath. Good, drop your top arm to the hip. So your hand's gonna grab the hip. Bend the front knee. Walk that back foot forward just a little bit. Bend the front knee. Hand reaches forward and you find your half moon pose. So the back leg reaches up. So see how this is almost triangle hips, triangle shoulders. Reach the arm up if you can. Breathe. Top arm comes back to the hip. Bend the front leg and drop that back leg down. Find your triangle again. Coming back into your triangle. Legs are straight. Shoulders are stacked. Coming up, push through your feet. Straight legs, reverse triangle, reach down the back leg. Arm up over the ear, breathe. Go back around to center. Take your hand to your hips, turn your hips to face the front of your mat. Back foot steps forward, so both toes are facing in the same direction. So they're both facing the front edge of your mat. <coughs> Standing up tall, push through your feet, and then legs stay straight as you fold from the hips. Coming all the way down. And then you can release your hands to either side of the foot. 
this is where we use blocks in class. So here at home, you can use a pillow or a book or some cans of corn. So for if you're on your fingertips, you can stay on the fingertips and they're right across from the foot. Nose towards your knee. Breathe. You're going to bend the knee, walk your hands forward, back foot flies up. So standing split, you're standing in that front left leg, right leg reaches up, take your nose towards your knee. Keep reaching that right leg up, nose towards your knee, breathe. Coming back to halfway and drop your feet. Drop your feet to meet with your left. You're standing in a forward fold. Take your hands behind your shokai and pull yourself gently forward. Two more breaths. Bend your knees and allow yourself to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Slowly, slowly. Tadasana Mountain Pose. <coughs> Stay here, deep in your breath. Eyes are closed, let's stay here for two more breaths. Good, touch your knees. So, breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, hands to your heart. <laughs> Left knee rises up, point to toes. You're looking at a space in front of you. Good, then reach a back fold from the hip. Warrior three, standing leg is strong and straight. Lifted leg, squeeze the muscles to the bone. Point the toes. Bend the standing knee so that your rib cage touches. And then step the back foot back. Warrior one. Reach the arms up. Palms together. Interlace the fingers. Reach up. You can look forward, forward if that looks be feels better on your back. Or look up. Slight back bend here. Mm, reach up. Two more breaths. One. Warrior two, drop the shoulders, drop the arms, shoulder height. Bend the front knee right over the ankle. Reach to the back arm so your upper body is right over the center of the pose. Two more breaths. Good, reverse warrior, reach down the back leg to reach the arm up over the ear, breathe. Look up and to your fingertips. Back around to center. Side angle, take the elbow to the knee, reach the top arm up first. Drop your hips a little bit lower and then reach the arm up over the ear. Half bind, the arm wraps around the back and fingertips find the inside of the thigh. Take your elbow off for a moment, and this is how strong you are in your legs. 
And then take your elbow to the knee softly. Full bind, the arm drops in front of the leg and wraps around the back of uh, the bottom of the legs and finds the hand behind you, that left hand. Twist, looking up towards the ceiling. Release the bind, take the elbow back to the knee. Keep the half bind behind the back. Now reach the arm up, straight up, and back into your warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Straighten the front leg, shift the hips back, reach forward, and then drop the bottom hand down inside the foot. Top arm reaches up, finding your triangle on this side. Shoulders are stacked. Top hand is reaching forward. Look up into your fingertips. Both legs are straight and strong. Push through your feet. Your feet are active. Toes are almost rising up off the floor. Going into our half moon. So take your top hand to your hip. Bend your front knee. You can slide your back foot forward a little bit. Take your front hand forward in front of the toes. And then back leg lift. If you fall out of it, come back in. Strong standing leg. If you want to reach the left arm up, finding your triangle arms. Good, hand comes back to the hip, bend the standing knee, reach the back leg back, find your triangle, straighten the front leg, reach the arm up. Good, come up, push to your feet. <coughs> Reverse triangle, reach down the back leg, arm reaches up over the ear. Back to center. Take your hands to your hips. Turn your hips to face the front of the mat. Walk that back foot forward. Toes facing the front of your mat. Hips are facing the front of your mat. And then fold forward. Keep both legs straight as you do a forward fold. And take your hands to either side of the foot or a pillow or a block or something. If you don't have anything, take your hands to your shokain. Or if you can reach all the way down. Drop your head, your nose towards your knees. And stay here for five breaths. This pose, you could stay for a long time because it's a big muscle in the body. It takes a long time to open up and stretch. directly connected to your back and your back health. So this is an important one to start to feel more comfortable in. And slowly releasing by bending the front knee, reaching your hands forward, hop that back leg up, floating it up. For standing split, so that lifted leg reaches up and you fold forward, nose towards the knee. Breathe. Come back to center, so hips are level. And drop that lifted leg down to stand with the right. Take your big your peace fingers and wrap around your big toes. Legs are straight, bend your elbows out to the side and pull yourself forward towards your knees. You can bend your knees a little bit so your rib cage touches. 
that softens any strain in the lower back. And then release the toes. Keep the knees bent and roll up. Floating up slowly. One vertebrae at a time. So your shoulders roll back, your heart lifts. And you're in your mountain pose, Tadasana. Three deep breaths here, long deep breaths. Eyes can be closed. Focusing on the feeling in your body. <coughs> Quiet mind, strong centered body. Standing poses are very grounding to the nervous system. It gets you connected into your feet and your connection to the earth. We're energetically connected to this big source of energy that's underneath us. The standing poses help us to really ground down and connect into that grounding energy. So we're not in our head with constant thoughts and patterns. Hmm. Good. Open up to whatever direction feels good so that you can see the computer and see me. So, but we're opening up in this wide stance. Hands to your hips. And squeeze your elbows together, press your heart forward. And I know everybody can probably open their feet up just a little bit wider. So open your feet just a little bit wider. Toes are pointing in almost like pigeon toed how you say it in English, and heels are reaching out, and then fold forward from the hips, and then stop halfway, reach your arms out like an airplane, look at the floor, tuck your belly in, stay here for one more breath. And then slowly lower down even more. Take your hands to the outside of your ankles or the outside of your feet and pull yourself softly forward. Everybody can open their feet a little bit wider. Pull yourself forward, maybe the crown of your head or your hair will softly touch the mat. <laughs> Two more breaths, stay here. Good, release your hands, bring them underneath your shoulders. Hands are right underneath your shoulders. Straight arms, and this creates a 90 degree angle with your hips and your spine. And then take your right hand to the center of the pose and reach your left arm up. Lifting up, heart lifting. Both legs stay straight. Don't bend your knees. Good. Then wrap your hand around your back. So that's that wrap that I love. And the fingertips find the inside of the thigh. Now walk that right hand to your left ankle. And pull yourself gently towards that left leg while you're at the same time dropping. Breathe. Right hand comes back to the center of the pose, push into the mat. Reach the left arm up for your twist. And back around to center. Left hand takes the spot of the right, right arm reaches up, twisting, looking up into your fingertips, legs stay straight. Now wrap the top arm around your back, fingertips find the inner left thigh. You can stay here, or the left hand can reach for the right ankle, pulling you to the right and fold forward. 
Three breaths. Good. Take the left hand back to the center of the pose. Straight arm. Reach the right arm up. Twisting one more time. And then back around to center. Both hands underneath your shoulders. Press into your feet. Fold forward at your hips, bend your elbows back towards the back of your pose. Maybe you can go to your elbows. If not, just keep the elbows bent, bending towards the back of your pose. Interlace your fingers only if your elbows are on the floor. If your elbows are not on the floor, just stay here bouncing and trying to stretch and go a little bit deeper. If your elbows are on the floor, interlace your fingers. Maybe you can drop your head to the floor. And this is where you'd go into a headstand, if you have that in your practice, or you can get up against a wall and go up into your headstand. And then stay here for five breaths. So if you're using a wall or you're just practicing, practice for a full five breaths. And then slowly coming down with open legs and try to drop your feet back into the spot where they started. Take your hands to the floor, straighten the arms. Everybody's together now. Take your arms up into a plane. Breathe, looking down at the floor, tuck your belly in and come up, push into your feet. Reach the arms up alongside the ears. Take your hands down to your heart. <coughs> Walk your feet in one foot length. Reach your arms up. Look up. Bringing your hands down. Open your toes to face the outer edges of the mat. Yeah, so your toes are pointing away from you. Hands are at your heart, push into your hands, and then bend your knees to get, get them right over the ankle. This has two names, horse stance or goddess pose. Let's go for goddess. <laughs> horse stance sounds kind of funny. Breathe, drop your tush a little bit deeper. Take your hands over your knees. Right heel comes up and down. Left heel comes up and down. Both heels come up and down. Woo -hoo -hoo. And come up. Good. Walk your feet in and hop them together. Mountain pose. Oh, notice how you feel. Eyes are closed. Breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, hands to your heart. Open your feet as wide as your mat. And then come down into your squat. Oh, take your elbows inside your knees. Press your knees back. Drop your forehead to your fingertips. Stay here, close your eyes. You have like, you know, just go to the ground. We don't have so much time left. <clears throat> just want to take a picture. Yay, thanks for everybody coming out. <clears throat> Okay, let's drop our tush to the floor, hug your knees in, hug them in, toes are pointed. 
<laughs> Peace fingers wrap around the big toes. And just best as you can, straighten your legs and then open them up. Straight legs. Mm. <laughs> One more breath. Mm. Bring them back in together, best as you can. And bend the knees. Hug the knees in and Roll back onto your mat. Rock from side to side. <coughs> mm, happy baby pose. Take both hands inside the knees, hands on the inner arches of the feet and rock from side to side, so all the way so that your knee touches, and then over to the other side, knee touches. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, and hug your knees in, drop your feet to the floor. Feet are as wide as your mat, and drop both knees over to the right. So your knees are not touching each other. It's an open knee twist. Take your arms alongside your ears. It's called cactus arm. For those that are from the west side of the United States. They're like cactus. Your right foot can rest on top of your left knee creating a bigger internal rotation in that left hip, a bigger twist in the belly. Both knees are still dropping down. Breathe deeply into the belly. Let's take three breaths into our bellies. Release the right foot. Open. Keep your knees open as they come back up to center. Feet are as wide as the mat. That's how you measure. And then both knees drop to the left. Make sure they're not touching and each other or any part of your body so that they can really reach towards the floor. Opening up the hips, <clears throat> twisting in the belly. If you want, you can take the left foot on top of the right knee. That encourages both knees to drop down a little bit deeper. Twisting in the hip and belly, three breaths. <coughs> Release the foot and both knees come back to center. Cross the right knee over the left. So the legs are crossed like you're sitting in a chair or a desk. And then hug the knees into the body. And to take it deeper, your hands reach for your feet. So your right hand reaches for the actual, or your left hand reaches for the right foot. And your right hand reaches for your left foot because the knees are crossed. And then pull your knees into your chest, pull your feet in towards your body, breathe. <coughs> Release the feet. And you're gonna take your knees, keep them crossed and take them over to the left, slowly, slowly, dropping the knees to the left. Reaching the right arm over to the right. The right shoulder won't go to the floor because the knees are heavy and pressing into the floor because they're crossed. So it's a deeper twist in the entire spine. Notice where you feel it, lower back, upper back, belly, rib cage, breathe. Mm. 
And then release your hands, keep them to the floor and bring your knees back up to center. Drop the feet to the floor, uncross the legs and then sad to knees. The left knee crosses over, pull your knees in. First, just interlace the fingers over the knees and pull the knees in. This might be where you wanna stay or if you want it a little bit stronger, right hand to that top left foot left hand finds the right bottom foot and then you pull them the knees into your chest by pulling on the feet gives a bigger stretch to the glutes and where the hamstring meets the sit bones that connection breathe mm -hmm. And then release the feet, but keep the knees in, and you're going to slowly drop the knees over to the right. Reach the left arm open. Looking to the left. Two more breaths. Release the arms to the floor, bring the knees back up to center. Drop the feet to the floor, uncross the knees. Feet are as wide as your mat, knees drop together, softening the lower back. Take your arms wide open, not as high as the shoulders, but kind of at a 45 degree angle from the body. Shoulders roll back. Setting your upper body ready for Shavasana. Palms are facing the ceiling as if you're holding a bowl in your hand. Fingers are soft. Breathe into your belly and your lower back. And then begin to open the knees, extend the legs out into your Shavasana. <coughs> 7.15, this is when the class ends. If you can stay here for five more minutes for your Shavasana and meditation, I'll lead you. It's actually 718. <laughs> so arms, let them extend open a little bit. You don't feel them touching the body. Eyes are closed. Breath is focused, or mind is focused on the breath and how the body naturally moves with the breath. The chest rises softly with each breath in and it drops with each breath out. The belly also moves with the breath. Notice in what direction it moves as you breathe in. And what direction does it move as you breathe out? Scanning the body, making sure that you're not holding anywhere in the body. Feel the back of the head, it feels heavy. Muscles released from the scalp, they drop into the floor. Eyes drop back. The cheeks release. The tongue drops into the center of the mouth. Feel the throat. As it opens and softens, creating space with each breath. The back of the neck relaxes and releases towards the back of the mat. Focus on your shoulders. Let go of any tension or holding in the shoulders and let them drop down heavy. The shoulders, the back of the arms, they're all heavy parts of the body. Let them feel heavy, you're not holding them. The muscles are releasing from the bone and dropping towards the back of the mat. The bones feel heavy and they drop into the back body. The heart, it's a heavy, heavy organ. 
It's dropping into your back cavity. So there's all this space in the front of your chest as the heart drops back. There's more room to breathe longer, deeper breaths. Moving down into your internal organs, the liver, the kidney, kidneys, the adrenals, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, they're all really heavy and your body is used to carrying them, tensing up and carrying them in the center of your body. Let those muscles and those ligaments and organs become heavy and drop to the back, stretching that connective tissue and releasing any tension with each breath out. Feel your sits bones, your buttocks on the floor. And with your next breath out, let them release, dropping into the back of your mat. Notice where your legs touch the mat. Maybe the back of your thighs, the back of your calves, your heels. And with your next breath out, let those muscles release from the bone and drop into the back of your mat. Bones drop down. The feet open up to the side. The toes relax. And with your next breath out, let the outline of your body become fuzzy as it melts into the atmosphere and the air that's around you and you lose the sense of your body it becomes one with the divine source that surrounds you returning back so when you are just a thought in the creative process, when you are still only a breath, you stay here in this very beginning of your existence and everything was perfect balance. And the world was ready for you to arrive. Stay here for three more deep breaths. And let a smile come across your face as you deepen your breath. In the physical body, you feel it again. Coming back onto the planet. Bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor and roll to your right side. Stay here for a breath or two, noticing how you feel, making that muscle memory of what yoga does for you. How you feel emotionally, even if your kids are around you right now and you're talking with them, just take a moment to say, oh, it feels so good. Yoga makes me feel good. I feel quiet and peaceful. My body feels balanced and strong. I'm ready for this day, clear and awake, conscious, making decisions that serve me and my family, staying in this peaceful place 
and knowing that you have control within you. Coming up to sitting, facing the center of the room, let's finish together with our hands over our heart or together at our heart in Namaste Mudra. Bow your head and give yourself a big thank you for showing up, that your Zoom is working, that your mat is, you're on your mat and moving, whether it was the whole time or just part of it. Let's keep doing it, supporting each other from a distance. We all are one. It's beautiful to be in our home spaces with our children, being quieter, maybe moving less, being less busy. Good for you for doing yoga first thing in the morning. Join me Wednesday and Friday, I hope. You guys, thank you so much. Namaste. Shavua Tov. I'm going to unmute you. Yay, I hear the kids in the background. <laughs> Thank Life you. Starting. Thank you. All right, mm -hmm. have a good Bye, Vacha. Bye. Thank you, Desra. Hi, yeah, thank you. you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.